Hey there, everyone. Okay, moving along here. We're going to uh, do a couple of videos about specifically purchasing off of dark web markets. I had a uh, subscriber reach out to me saying that she attempted to purchase from a vendor on, on one of the markets and they took her Bitcoin, but never she never received anything. And that's a darn shame. But, uh, you know, I did uh, reach out to her asking which marketplace and which vendor, seeing if maybe something could be done, but I haven't haven't heard a word back from her yet. So, but anyway, you know, uh, she asked if I could make a video on it and uh, sure, let's make some videos, but it's, there's a process to this. Uh, one thing is vendors are extremely paranoid and for good reason. That being said, you need to make sure every time you communicate with them about anything, especially with sensitive uh, information, your messages to them need to be encrypted. Okay. A lot of times you'll see on their uh, profile pages, they'll have a public key and um, that's what it's for, okay? It's for encrypting a message to them that they can in turn decrypt when they receive it and read it, okay? So this is how that's done. First of all, this is the website we go to, GPG4Win. This is for a Windows installation. There's other uh, installations for the other operating systems down below. We're picking this one. GBG for G, excuse me, GPG for win. We'll go ahead and download that. Okay, and once we're downloaded, we'll go and head and install. Pretty much going to click through everything. Next. And next. Make sure all of these are ticked here go next and apparently I'm upgrading here so yes wherever you know you know how to do all that go next and let's get get it running here what this involves is uh, when you're ready to send a message to a vendor first you'll open up the notepad application and uh, you'll type out your message in the notepad application, a text document. And once you type out the message that you'll be sending, you'll be encrypting it. You'll copy it to the clipboard and encrypt the text. And that's uh, the garbled mess that's produced is what you'll be sending. Along with your public key, which I'll show you all, all how to do here. So we're done installing. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Oh man, reboot, huh? All right. Want to reboot? Reboot. I'll I'll reboot later. Okay, so we're all finished there. Let's go ahead and power up our application and create our new public keys. Cleopatra is what we're going to run. Okay, this is what you'll see. First thing we're going to do, create a new certificate. We're going to create a personal open PGP key pair. This is where we put in our info. This stuff isn't that important. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, oops. Call, call it Joe Blow. Email Joe at blow.com. And this is the encryption uh, part of it. This is the, the you know, how, how the technical details. I believe that, you know, if you want higher encryption, you can go down here. Let's uh, For this, for our purposes, we'll keep it at default. If you'd like to look into that sort of thing later, you know you can do that on your own. We'll go to next. Show all details and create our key. This is where we create a passphrase. It's best to include uh, a couple of words in your passphrase, maybe a number or two to make it more secure. 
Okay, so let's give that a go here. And type it in again. Okay, and it's been created to use it. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and jump on a deep web marketplace. I've already logged into Alpha Bay here. Okay, and let's say we're looking for, uh, or we have a vendor in mind, or you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter which, which, uh, who, who we're uh, emailing. In fact, we could probably just uh, send it to myself, my own. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, I've got my PGP block here. So this is how this is done. What you do is you take their public key, you copy it to to the clipboard. Right click and copy. Next, in the uh, taskbar, or I'm not sure, if, yeah, in the task, yes, in the taskbar here, because since we have Cleopatra running, right click on the taskbar. Actually, first, I'm sorry about that. First of all, under Cleopatra here, this is what we have to do. We have to import. Import the certificate of who we're sending the message to. So import certificates. This way. To import a certificate. I suppose you, I guess you can't get it from the... Uh, well, wait. Let's see here. Clipboard. Yes, here it is. Uh, clipboard. Certificate import right here. It grabbed it from the clipboard, the one we just copied there, and okay. So now it's uh, residing in other certificates. There's that. So next, you want to uh, email me with an encrypted message. So we need to open up a text a text file. You know, type it in whatever message. This is my first encrypted message. Okay, first we need to get a copy of our public key, which is uh, right here. We're going to export certificate. We're going to export it. It's ASC file. Export it to the desktop. Save it. Okay, and then that can be opened in a, as a text file. So you can just open that up into Notepad. All right, and this is what it'll look like. There it is. That's our public key block. So we just take that, copy that, copy, and we're going to pop that into the bottom of our message. It's basically like our signature. This is so that when they respond, they'll respond to this. And you will be able to decrypt it with the passphrase that you set during setup. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead and uh, we can finish off our message actually with the, we right click here, copy, copy to clipboard, go back to Cleopatra. And we're going to encrypt with this function right here. That's asking who we're sending it to. We need to add a recipient. Remember earlier we added my, that's the recipient. Say okay. And then we go next and encryption has succeeded. Okay. So now that encryption has actually been copied to the clipboard. This whole message here. So, 
on the clipboard is what you're going to uh, bring that in from the clipboard. And there it is. This is a message, see? That's a message right there. So that will include what we typed in, the message, and my public key. When I receive it, I'll type in my passphrase, and it'll decrypt the message. And that's how that works. So it's not too hard, right? That's the first step, and we'll go over some other things in the next video.